And tonight we're here with... Danielle. And your name is? Maura. Maura, how old are you? Nine. And you are? Kira. Kira. Danielle, why are you here tonight? Is this your first lantern walk? It is my first lantern walk. And what brings you here tonight with us? We heard about it actually from my aunt. And we wanted to come and support another woman event. And we really wanted to walk in honor of our family members that we've lost. And I wanted to show the girls another Woburn event because they like to get involved in everything in Woburn. No, that's great. And are you enjoying it so far before the walk starts? Yes. And why did you come? Just to support some more Woburn people and support mom? Yes. Okay. And what would you like to say? I just want to say that I'm happy to be here. Uh, it's great to have you here, and I hope you come here next year and the year after that and bring friends. We will. <laughs> great. Thank you. Enjoy your walk. Thank you. Okay, and your name is, sir? I'm John Sachs from the uh, Friends of Mary Cummings Park. Oh, nice. Uh, the sponsors. Yes. Okay, and how many times have you walked then? I think probably at least five times. I know Steve has told us about coming to Friends of Cummings Park. What is Mary Cummings Park? I know it's not the big tall office building in Woburn. <laughs> no, uh, Mary Cummings, back in the 30s, 1930s, left uh, this big chunk of land to become a park, and Boston became the trustee. Over the years, Boston sort of lost interest, and they tried to sell that park to developers. Ooh. A group of people came along and started the Friends of Mary Cummings Park and fought tooth and nail and saved it from development. Um, and also saved uh, Whispering Hill Woods, which is oh, yes. in Woburn. And the two of them really function as one park. The trustees of reservations are now managing Mary Cummings Park. So our role as the friends have changed. We're kind of their eyes and ears on the ground. Okay. And also we're paying a lot more attention down to Whispering Hills, Whispering Hill Woods. Now, if I wanted to visit Mary Cummings Park, where would I do that? Oh, that's a good question. Uh, well, there's the trustees' big parking lot on Blanchard Street okay. is a good place to start. And they have signs. They have a beautiful boardwalk that they've built. Um, but there's also a there's also an entrance on, let me think, what's it called now? There's an entrance right in Woburn on, uh, I should remember the name of it. If you go, if you go to the website, marycummingspark.org. Okay. There's a lot of things to see there. There's videos, there's a book you can buy, there's all kinds of stuff, but there's also a map, and the map will show you all the parking areas. And when I get to the park, what do I actually do? What, what can I expect to find there? Well, on early Saturday and Sunday mornings, there's a group called the Flyers, and they fly modeled airplanes, which is a lot of fun to watch. Uh, the thing about that park right now is there's a lot of beautiful fall the, the huge meadows are one of the things that distinguishes Mary Cummings Park. There's woods and there's wetlands, but the, wow, jet plane overhead. But there's a um, big, beautiful open meadows. Uh, and as I said, the trustees built a boardwalk in the wetland, okay. and you can walk right out into the wetland and do bird watching. It sounds nice, tranquil and peaceful. Very much so. Very well, John, beautiful. thank you for walking once again. I'm glad we could support you. Well, we really appreciate it appreciate this walk and it's been very critical to us over the years for fundraising. Now, it's been great. It's also been great working with Steve O'Leary. He's a wonderful guy. He he's been president through all of the difficult times leading to uh, what for us was the great solution of the trustees becoming the park managers because now we feel like the park is really safe from development. Well, I'm glad this walk is able to support you and this is where the donations go yes. that you make for the walk. It's going to a beautiful place that everybody can enjoy at no charge. Thank you, John. I'll see you out on the course. Thank you, guys. Okay. Good evening. Welcome to our 17th annual Soul Lantern Walk. What a beautiful night for a walk. My name is David Hunt. I will be your master of ceremonies this evening. You probably know me from my television series, America in Crisis, Breaking the Cycle of Addiction. This is a show that handled, tackled, the drug epidemic and pandemic that's going on in our community. We bring various guests in. 17 years. Yes, I'm looking around. 17 years. I see a lot of familiar faces. Can't believe we've been here so long doing this. It's a long time. What's unfortunate is some people don't make it to 17. This is one of the reasons we're here. Whether it's a disease, an accident, a casualty of war, or from the drug or opioid epidemic, Many of our children die just way too soon. You're probably wondering why it's called Soul Lanterns. Well, Soul stands for Spirit of United Lanterns. Lantern festivals take place all over the world as a way to unite the community by sending a message of light through decorated lanterns. In 2005, Colleen O'Toole 
founded Wuppen's first lantern walk. The Han Pond Memorial Lantern Walk was born. Colleen founded the event after she saw people needing a way to come together to cope with the loss of those around her dying just way too soon. In 2008, Colleen's own son, Michael Lutz, died in a vehicle accident. Mike is remembered as a bright light who volunteered at many of these events. May I have a moment of silence from everybody for Michael, please? Thank you. Now I'd like to introduce our founder, Colleen O'Toole. Colleen, can you say a few words for us? Hi, good evening. Thank you all so much for being here. It's really nice to see new faces and uh, faces from the past. Um, yes, my son Michael was killed in a car accident in 2008 and um, the, lan the lantern walk is something that he started because he was tortured about some of the kids that were uh, dying. And so it's, it, it, it is in memorial, but it is also about the hope for life that we find the truth and the love and the meaning to keep walking, keep walking and uh, keep that light shining within all of us. And um, thank you so much for being here. If, um, if you want to leave the uh, lanterns with us afterwards, that's great. If you want to bring them home, that's great. Light on. Thank you so much. Thank you, Fleet, once again for speaking for us. I would like to introduce our keynote speaker tonight, Lauren McClay Dizio. Lauren is the sister of Justin McCray. Justin died of an accidental fentanyl overdose in February 2020, just 10 days short of his 22nd birthday. Lauren and her family and mother Maureen were guests on my television show recently. Lauren is here to share her story with us tonight. Lauren, can you bring, bring it to the podium? Can I have a round of applause for Lauren? It takes a lot of guts to get up here and do something like this. Okay, good evening everyone, and thank you for giving me the honor to speak here tonight. My name is Lauren McCray, and I grew up right here in Woburn. On behalf of my family, I'm here tonight to share our story of loss and to commemorate all those that we've lost too soon. First and foremost, I'd like to thank Colleen O'Toole and Colleen Young for this opportunity and for the amazing work that you do hosting this beautiful event each year. Also, thank you to David Hunt for connecting me to this admirable team of women. I've learned over the years that it is so important to keep our lost loved ones in the forefront. This is such a wonderful way to honor our loved ones and to remember that we never lose sight of them. Like these lanterns, their light is always shining so brightly. Earlier this year, I was reading a book called The Nightingale, and amidst the story, there was one line I read that stopped me in my tracks, one line that hit too close to home. After suffering her own loss, the author writes, all she could think about was the child's laughter and how the world would now miss out on it. That is exactly how I felt since the day I lost my younger brother, Justin. I imagine that is how all of you have felt the day you lost your loved one. Justin was a bright young man who passed away at just 21 years young. He was a regular guy. He loved sports. He grew up playing football, basketball, soccer, and baseball. His passion was football, uh, where he was a three-year starter and senior captain on the Woburn varsity team. He also loved music. He played guitar and often acted as the DJ at family get-togethers. Justin was an entrepreneur and started his own car detailing business while he was in college. He was a deep thinker. He enjoyed politics, philosophy, and writing. At some point along the way, Justin felt lost. He began battling with addiction and mental illness. In September of 2019, Justin was brave enough to admit that he became addicted to opioids. He asked for help, and we brought him to detox that same day. Eventually, he went to rehab and then spent a few months in sober living. He was doing well in his recovery. He was five months sober, leading group meetings, and empowering others who were also on their recovery journey. However, in February of 2020, Justin succumbed to his first relapse and lost his life to a fentanyl overdose. Life hasn't been the same since the day that he left us, and we would do anything in our power to bring him back. I know that each of us here tonight feels this sentiment wholeheartedly. Everyone here knows that losing someone you love is a tragedy that bears so much weight and so much pain. Yet, at the same time, there is an emptiness that is now instilled within us. 
we vividly feel that a piece of our hearts is missing. When we lose someone we love, how are we supposed to find a way to move on without them? Everyone discovers their own coping mechanisms. Some of us are unable to cope with the grief and that is okay too. For my family, through the coping process, we decided to start a nonprofit organization called MACA's Mission. Justin was known as MACA by many of his friends and we wanted to continue his mission of helping others in recovery. Our purpose is to raise awareness about addiction and overdose, reduce the stigma associated with substance abuse and mental illness, and raise funds for individuals in support of their recovery. To carry out our mission, we decided early on to be open and honest about Justin's story. Addiction is nothing to be ashamed of. It's a tragic disease that can, hap that can impact anyone at any point in their lives. We hope that the more we share Justin's story and the more that we have learned about others like him, that the stigma of addiction and mental illness will dwindle and that more people will ask for help before it's too late. We also volunteer and raise funds that are given to organizations that help those impacted by substance abuse, mental illness, and homelessness. Our primary fundraising efforts are done through the annual three versus three basketball tournament held at the Woburn Boys and Girls Club each June. With the money we've raised and through our volunteering efforts, we've funded one month of sober living costs for several different individuals at local sober houses. We've funded re weekend recovery retreats, um, sponsored and served dinners for the homeless, and supported other local organizations like this who have a similar mission as us. We try to partake in as much as we can. No matter how big or small the gesture is, every little bit helps. Through my family's loss, we pay it forward in hopes that someone else doesn't need to experience their own loss. I encourage anyone who is looking for a way to cope with the grief to try giving back to the community, like this event tonight is incredible. No gesture is too small, and the sense of comfort you feel when helping another person helps, us, helps to make us feel as if we were whole again. As I reflect on my grief, I think back to the quote I read earlier. All she could think about was the child's laughter and how the world would now miss out on it. There is so much laughter, kindness, and light that Justin and that each of your loved ones still had to share with us. But let's take a moment and think about how much light that is, just here between us in this group. It is their light that guides us, that shines so brightly and keeps us moving forward, that illustrates the memories that we hold so dearly in our hearts. May we always keep these memories glowing in the forefront of our lives, and may the memories outshine the pain we feel in our hearts. In remembrance of all we have lost too soon, may we have the strength to move forward with our loved ones as our guiding light. Thank you. Thank you, Lauren. Again, it takes a lot of guts to get up here and never mind speak, but share a personal story like that. A quick moment to thank the people and sponsors that made this event possible tonight. Starting with David P. Hunt Event Management, Stop and Shop for the Refreshments, Steve Morris for supervising the medical providers tonight, Wuben Public Media Center for uh, not only supporting us tonight, filming it, but for the great interview they did a couple of years ago with Colleen that actually featured this event on it. Wuben Times Chronicle, again, Jake and Joe's for the door prize, committee members who worked tirelessly all year to put this together, and believe me, it's not easy. Colleen O'Toole, Colleen Young, Rodney Flynn, Dave Hunt, Steve O'Leary from Friends of Mary Cummings Park. There's a lot to this between going, getting permits, seeing City Hall, getting insurances. There's a lot to put this event on you guys don't know about. Now, please stop by the refreshment station towards the end of the walk for water and goodies. Again, please note that the peanut butter crackers do contain nuts, so those with allergies should avoid them. We will now begin walk remembering those who have lost. We're going to ask for the first one minute to walk in total silence.
You enjoying the walk? Yes, we did. Yeah, it, did. it was a great walk. Oh, it was, it was a good. It was a good walk. Nice yes. weather feel, holding up. Oh, yeah, yeah feels it's great. Beautiful. Okay. It's beautiful. But Thank stop you for off the Angel of Hope, go and enjoy it, and get some refreshments Thank after you. it. Thank Thanks you. Thanks for coming. Oh, I see some familiar people. Hi. Hey, how's the walk so far? Great. Hey. Enjoying it, guys? Yep. Thank How are you? Good. How are you? Good. Enjoying the walk tonight? I am. It's beautiful. Yeah, the weather gods are smiling on us. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Okay. Enjoy. You have refreshments up around the corner and check oh. out the Angel of Hope while you're up there. I will. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Okay. I see familiar faces. <laughs> How are you enjoying the walk so far it's tonight? Great. It's great. great. Thank well, you. Thanks for coming tonight. Thank Don't forget you. to stop by and get some refreshments oh. on the way out. Hey, Jess. Hey, we remember Jess from last year. Uh -huh. So Hi. Jess is doing the first aid again. She's one of our uh, volunteer medics and she's yep. walking the course to make sure no injuries, no band-aids, no scrapes. So far I haven't heard any screams or yells or calls for help. We're good. Until I get hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully not. Well, enjoy the rest of the walk. Thank, Thank you, you for so coming much. and volunteering this year. Very happy to be here. I love it, Aurora. Love it. Aurora, say hi to the crowd. Hi. You're on TV. Hi. See, I told you I'd get you on TV this year. You're thrilled, aren't you? Sure, yeah. Okay. <laughs> we are going to cut that out. <laughs> Thanks for walking, guys. So, are you enjoying the walk? Hi. Yes, yeah, sorry. All right, what's your first name? Flynn. Oh, the water. What is it? Yep. Flynn. Flynn. So, how you, is it your first walk with us? Nope. How many years have you been doing it? Three or four. Great. Good, better weather tonight? Yeah. Well, I will see you next year, I hope. Enjoy the rest of your yeah, evening. This is Rodney's grandson. So. Oh, my God. A star, <laughs> is. A star is born. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you, you're going to yeah. take over for Rodney, right, in a few years? Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> what do you mean? He's we're got, in Jersey, so we're not Rodney has to by. retire someday. We're going to have you. Yeah. you got good. You got big shoes to fill. Rodney's great. <laughs> Very nice Thank meeting you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. With me is Steve O'Leary. Steve is the president of Friends of Mary Cummings Park that this walk is sponsoring. Thanks for uh, stopping me here, Dave, and thanks for all the help with the uh, volunteer corps has been doing tonight. Now, we could, they did a lot of work behind the scenes. Yeah. You did a lot yourself. Rodney did a ton of work on this thing. We all worked very hard. Colleen uh, and Kaylin, they all worked very hard on this. Yeah, it was a great turnout. I know you got the word out to a lot of the newspapers, so this is like the biggest uh, walk we've had in several years. So. It was great to see everyone come out with such a nice cause. Well, that's to thank people like the Wuben Daily Times Chronicle and, of course, Wuben Public Media for blasting it out on their uh, website and on their bulletin board. Yeah, so and the city of Woburn, uh, Lindsay Higgins in the city, clerk's office, the police department, the fire, DVW, all for signing off on it. And that's great. all to thrill about that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, I know they did a lot of work, Rodney, went all over the different departments. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm glad everything came together, especially at the last minute with trying to get the city council and everything. Yeah. So they did a lot of work to make the uh, get it on time for us. So big thanks to the city of Woburn, especially Lindsay Higgins for all the work she did on this with us. It is appreciated for what was done. Please fire DPW. We thank you for letting us put this on. Yeah. And uh, yeah, and if anyone who hasn't been out to Mary Cummings Park, um, the trustees of reservations have done a lot of work. It's really been improved. So if you haven't made it, got a chance to get out there, please do so. And Sam, anything you want to say? What's it like? Uh, it's like a, a, the town, but it, it could need a little bit more spooky here. But this that, is that, that's a thought for some year. Thanks. Thank that's you. A th Later in October, we could have a little yeah. costume. Yeah, that's right. Totally. Okay. Thank right, you very much, guys. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, I'm at the refreshment stand, most popular place on the walk. With us today we have, your name? Claudia. And you are? Kevin. I know you, you've done it many years. Yes. <laughs> Kevin's back again. Yes, I am. They keep returning, I don't know why. <laughs> and Claudia, you're a new face. I am indeed. I just, I've got told by, about this, so I was like, you know, why not? Let's get involved. Let's see what you do. And it's fantastic, it's great that we are doing for such a course. So what do we have with us today? What are you giving out? Water, candy, and some crackers. Um, crackers. Just right here. Peanut butter crackers. Yeah, unfortunately not for everybody, but most people have been grabbing them. <laughs> well, it's great to have you guys volunteering. You're going to come back next year, right? Well, we know he'll be so. back. Yes. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. We're, we're, we're working on that. Yes, exactly. We haven't, we haven't scared you off yet? No, no. Definitely nope. not. <laughs> well, thank you for coming out and volunteering and helping. This okay, is the most right. popular stand in the booth. So. <laughs> thank you. Okay, thanks, guys. I see a familiar face. You're back with us this year. Yes, 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 Dave. Can I ask your first name? Alice. Alice. This is Alice. How do you guys like it this year? Anything different except good yeah. weather? 
Good weather, not as much people as in the past, but we got to spread the word more. Absolutely. I will. Thanks, Alice. I'll see you next year. Yeah. With, with some friends. Yes, right. The walk. It was so nice, yeah. Nice weather, get out yes, of the house. Yes, yes, no, nice snacks. <laughs> Absolutely. Is this your first year or second? Um, I've done it probably like like four, you look four familiar. I know five times. The other year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I hope to see you again next yeah, year. Yeah, thanks and so bring, much. Bring some friends. Oh, yeah, definitely. Spread the word. <laughs> definitely. Enjoy the rest of your walk. Thank you for stopping Thank by. You. And I see a fearless leader, Colleen. Yeah. <laughs> up the rear. I'm always uh, holding up the rear here. Absolutely. You knew a couple more left. Yep. Our local PD was keeping an eye, and he said there are two more coming. Mm -hmm. So we thank them for helping out tonight with where people are. Yeah, it was a beautiful night. A lot of people here tonight. It yeah, was very nice. A lot more nice. than before. Well, we're getting the word out. You're doing a good job on it. Great. People enjoy appreciate all good words tonight. I love the light, and I love Mother Earth. Mother Earth, thank you. And you did a lot of work this year. I know Colleen did a ton of stuff behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. And the rest of the staff, Rodney and Stephen. Yep. Oh, that's great. We will see you in one year. Okay. I'm sure we'll hear from you before that. All right. Thank you. So this concludes our 17th annual Soul Lantern Walk at Haunt Pond in Woburn, Mass. Hope to see everybody again next year. Come on down. People that are watching this, share the link with your friends. You can watch this whole thing on Woburn Public Media Service on this uh, channel, and you can see this also on YouTube. So share it. Tell a friend. Bring some friends. If you like the walk and are watching this, tell your family and friends. For those that have never tried it, it's about 45 minutes. It's only 2.4 miles. It's a great night for a walk. Hope to see you again next year. Be the first to second weekend of October. Once again, thanks for watching. Thanks for participating. My name is David Hunt. It's a pleasure being with you this evening. Thank you.